see what else is on here. Oh, I'm actually a little bit excited for this one. Uh, Mario Party Superstars. So it's basically like a culmination of a lot of oh, the, yeah. uh, the, the top 100 mini games, and it's kind of like emphasizing those N64 ones. It's supposed to have like five maps from the N64 era, and yeah, they they had some really good mini games even like back in the day, and now they just look better, plays better. And you can actually play it online with people. You don't have to be local. It would have been nice to have that in the middle of the pandemic versus the tail end. You're right, but, exactly. But fuck it, I'll take it. Um, yeah, you can tell that's why they added it to the to the last one because they were getting ready to release this one with the online code. And they're like, hey, we can actually put it into the one that's already out. Mm-hmm. Wait, so are they adding... Wait, are they adding this? Is this like an add-on for S- Super Mario Party or is it a completely different game? I thought it was a completely different game. Yes, um, yeah. Super Mario Party. Um, the what is it? The tenth. I don't even know how many Mario Parties they've had. So the one that was on Switch that came out a while yeah. ago. That's its own thing. They they. I believe they retroactively added online multiplayer to that just recently. This one is called Mario Party Superstars. Not to be confused with Mario Super Mario Party. It's the same fucking name. <laughs> yeah. So um, so Mar- but this Mario Party Superstars already is going to come with o- online play. Yes. Yeah. See, that's great. And then also it's like classic boards, classic mini games like throughout the series like it's just yeah, like I agree with Canty Unplugged is like literally Super Mario Party was it was fun in like the regular party mode, but it was very weak. Like in all of the other modes that it had, it was just a very weak game. Um, but I mean, it was fun for what it was. I just, yeah. It's it's a good party game. It's going to be good. Oh, you know what? We, we got to stream it like as a group, like four people or whatnot. We'll make a drinking game out of it. We, we're going to lose. Our friendships are going to deteriorate so <laughs> I already have quick. A, I already have a drinking game. <laughs> From growing, from well, not growing up. Growing when up, I, when I turned, when I up. turned, when I turned twenty one, <laughs> I, I, my, I only ever, I never drank before I was twenty one ever, not one sip of alcohol. Damn, you were, you were a dope six year old, <laughs> chugging, <laughs> chugging forties left and right. Um, can't, no, you can't but, feel the pain of that spinning analog stick in the first game if you're wasted. <laughs> right. Uh, no. So basically, if you land on a Bowser square. Uh, you you have to take a shot. If you lose a mini game, like if you are the last person in the mini game, you have to take a shot. Um, oh, shit. I think there's. Are you going to kill th- me? <laughs> isn't there like isn't there like a bare minimum of like fifteen mini games per per match or something? That's a lot of I, shots if someone's no, doing but real like, bad. You, 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 like you have to come in fourth. Like you have to come in dead last to have to take a shot. So whoever comes in dead last the most obviously is going to be getting shit faced. Um, <laughs> so just like get good, I guess. I don't know. Welcome to Dark Souls of drinking. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to get take- like a big <laughs> bottle of vodka, fill it with water and say I'm yep. drinking it. Wow. <laughs> wow. Anna. Life hacks I, right here. Wow. Co- Corey, I, you're trying to kill us. <laughs> we could change it to just taking a swig of whatever we're at, drinking. At, we'll Mario Party aside, how, how okay. many shots can you pack away? Like, I'm not normally. even. I, dude, I'm 30 now. Okay, I'm not. I'm not even gonna try that shit. Okay. Oh, I but you want us to? He, he's just so <laughs> confident in his Mario Party skills. He knows it's not gonna be him that's getting shit faced. Not a single drop of liquor will be hitting Corey's mouth. I don't understand what you mean because, like, literally, it's a luck of the dice. Like, what do you mean? Some like- of those games take some skill. <laughs> I, that's true. I, I, I if you get you items, not. if you get items, you have to like use them strategically. I, so I, I shit you not. There, there's a friend of a friend that we would play Mario Party at uh, at my at my buddy's house, and just like this dude was like legitimately fucking MLG at Mario Party. He did not lose a single fucking mini game. He was on fucking point. I'm just like this, this guy's on another, another level. If they if they have uh what's it called? It, if they have like an Evo equivalent for Mario Party, this this dude would be reigning champ. All day, every day. I would love, I would love to do like a Mario Party tournament with this new Mario Party game coming out. I would love to do that and I'm, stream I'm, it. I'm telling you, we have to do that drunk stream. We can have cameras in each corner. Everyone getting <laughs> wasted. It's gonna be a good time. 
<laughs> yes, exactly. We'll have we'll have four webcams, uh, one webcam each on uh, on each person, and then like you know, it'll be great. <laughs> We're gonna get to like the eighteenth turn, and like two cameras are gonna be normal, and then one's gonna be like pointed down on the ground, and someone's just gonna be like lying on the ground. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna slowly rotate. <laughs> yep. Oh jeez. That's, I'm, that's I, how you I'm actually very excited for this. It's it's gonna be dope. <laughs> uh, they also uh, announced uh, WarioWare Get It Together. It's a, another collection of uh, new micro games, and it's uh, going to have co-op. Uh, it looks super silly. I've never I've never played a WarioWare WarioWare in my life, but I had friends who did, and they always just seemed like very um, just you know, like just like a like a like a goofy game. You know, mm-hmm. they're they're, <laughs> so. they're very fun. They're very frantic. Like each micro game is like literally like five seconds or less. And like mm-hmm. as, as you as you keep advancing through them, the timer gets shorter and shorter and shorter. And oh, geez. I, I played the hell out of um out of the DS one. It, it's a it's a freaking good time. Mm-hmm. Um, I might I might pick this one up. I might pick it up. The only time I've played WarioWare is when I've played it in Smash Brothers on like the WarioWare stage that includes the mini games. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it's the same idea. Maybe, maybe mm-hmm. less punching of each other. Mm-hmm. It's, well, it's co-op. This one's like competitive co-op, so maybe mm-hmm. there is more punching. Oh, there you go. Just just punching other people. <laughs> um speaking of speaking of upcoming Nintendo games, I I I guess I'll 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 uh take it take the reins here. Is anybody actually going to or looking forward to Mario Golf? Um Golf's not really my thing. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I, I like I like Mario versions of of game of like genres. I don't necessarily care for like I'm not much of a driving game person, but I'll mm-hmm. play like I'll play Mario Kart. I'll play Crash Team Racing. Otherwise, but, but, known as the superior Mario Kart. But but Jose, there's a mode that you can like attack each other and like race to the hole and get your get your ball in as fast as possible. It's high speed and action. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know what? I, I'm glad that that Mario Golf is embracing what normal hockey is, where you just beat the shit out of each other. Right. Um, <laughs> so I'm on the fence about this Mario Golf game because I remember having Mario Golf for the N64 as a kid, and I actually really liked playing that game. However, I never actually was able to unlock even the first character, which is Luigi. Wow. I was never able to unlock him it, because it was so god awful hard. I don't know why, but that game was so hard. It's how, just. <laughs> how have they never made a spin off game of Happy Gilmore? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> I, I would pay an ungodly amount of money for that. <laughs> Just a golf game of him playing of, of like a happy Gilmore. Oh my gosh, that'd be great. There's, there's the a way mini things game are going. I was going to say the way things are going, you might end up with happy Gilmore and Fortnite before you get a happy Gilmore <laughs> game. That's true. That's true. Oh, uh, I mean, we got, we got, uh, we got Ash from, from, uh, freaking evil dead in, in dead by daylight before we actually got the, uh, evil dead game. There so, you go. You know. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Advance Wars One and Two Reboot Camp is coming. It's a collection of, of, I guess, the first two games. I never played Advance Wars back in the day, but it seems cool. Uh, war is good. Uh, kids engaging in war is good. It's it's a good <laughs> education. Uh, re- really toughens them up, makes them pull themselves up by their bootstraps, uh, as, as as my good friend Sen uh, Bapira would say. <laughs> uh, uh war is ben, awful. Shibibo. ben shibibo ben, benjamin shibibo <laughs> ben ben bebop ben bebop jeez <laughs> oh, jeez oh, what ass p word <laughs> god why why <laughs> Um, actually, back in the day, children's soldiers were a commodity that actually helped the economy. Okay, so you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> How did yeah. I end up on Joe Rogan's podcast? I thought this was <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sh- post it aside. I, I, I honestly don't know too much about Advance Wars, but I hear very good things about it. So maybe I'll check it out. I played Days of Ruin, which is which was like 
the I, I can't remember what in the series it was, but like I think like the first two were sort of like a little more playful, not necessarily playful because it you know it's tanks and shooting things and everything, but like a little more cartoony. And then I think Days of Ruin went with we're gonna have an apocalypse, and it was like a little more gritty or or whatever. And like the strategy combat in it and everything was sound. I really enjoyed like the actual tactics. I don't remember much else from it. Uh, but getting the reboot and being able to play the originals is exciting for me. I'm looking forward nice. to it. Awesome. 